Hello everyone, welcome to the Coast Peak Labs YouTube channel. My name is Mr. Edmar and today I will be going over how to create a new Scratch account. Let's jump in. So the first step we want to take is we want to go ahead and go to scratch.mit.edu. And I'm already on this page and this is what it looks like. So now to go ahead and create our new account, we go ahead and click on this join button right here. And if for whatever reason, we don't see this join button, no worries, there's another way we can go. So we can go ahead and go up to our, our top of the screen right next to the search button. Uh, there's a join scratch button that we can click. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once we click on it, we see this page that says join scratch. And the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, create a username. And it tells us not to use our real name. So let's go ahead and come up with a username that we can uh, easily remember. And then from there, uh, let's go ahead and create a new password. But unfortunately, my username that I chose is already taken. Uh, so I have to come up with a different one, but that's okay. Sometimes if we add a number, it might work. So if I go ahead and illustration number two, so that one seems that it might work. So I will go ahead and use that username. Our next step is to go ahead and create a password. So just a tip, uh, make sure that you write this password down so you won't forget it. And another, let's not share with other people unless they're your parents because you don't want people hacking your account, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a new password. I took off this show password that way no one can see my password and hack my account. Okay, so unfortunately I made a mistake with my password. So this is okay. Sometimes this might happen where we think we typed everything out and we didn't type in everything. And it says that our, our passwords don't match. So I would go ahead and delete everything and try one more time. All right, and now our passwords match. And so now I can go ahead and move on by clicking on the next button. From here, Scratch will ask us a few questions that we can answer. So I, go, I will go ahead and go through them quickly. And I'll just put in just information, not necessarily, uh, just imaginary information for here, for this part. Uh, so, this is the part where it's kind of important, uh, where it says, what is your email? Here, make sure to write an email that you have access to uh, because it will ask for confirmation later on. So I will go ahead and give it an email. Okay, so this is the email I will be using. So then we go ahead and create our account. So go ahead and click on that button. And sometimes it might, might ask you uh, to verify that you are not a robot. So it says select images with tractors in it. So I will go ahead and select all the ones that I can see with the tractor and then verify them. So now it says, welcome to Scratch, CSL illustration number two. So now I can go ahead and click on get started. And for this purpose, I will not be saving this password. And we are in, we created our new Scratch account. So once we have this, we can go ahead and go to the top and make sure that we are signed in. So it says that if your username is up here, that means that you are signed in and ready to go. You can go ahead and create any new projects by hitting the create button. You can go to the home page by clicking on the scratch button. And it also tells us to confirm our email. So if I click on this, it says that an email, a message, a confirmation message will be sent to that email. And all you have to do is um, open your email, uh, find the scratch email and click on confirm account. There you go. And then once we do that, this button, this uh, banner will go away. And then we are all said and done. So uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.